so much I, I went I treated myself to the big bottle and as you can see it's probably on about I want to say like 65% full um, I used this quite what I think is quite a lot over the summer even though it wasn't a, a mega hot summer it's perfect for the hot weather and this is a fragrance which I kind of put on when I want something really really nice but I don't I'm not sure what to wear this is what you'd call I guess a dom reach fragrance um, and I've worn this on some very hot days even though we didn't have that many but when we did have some hot days sort of in late summer I reached for this so the only drawback with this is it doesn't last a mega long time maybe about four hours five hours um, and that top note the sort of citrusy top note um, doesn't last very long um, my nails aren't very long I just cut them yesterday so not the day before so they're not the longest but yeah um, it doesn't last long but it's just so uplifting to wear and you can always just reapply it and because I have quite a big bottle uh, I, I'm not scared to kind of go crazy with it because it's not like an overpowering scent it's uh, just really like um, citrusy and uplifting so this was probably I used this quite a lot over summer um, so this is probably going to be up there uh, but we'll see if it wins we'll see if it wins okay, okay that's the Kenzo um, low low Kenzo pour on like that okay uh, I'm trying not to make this video too long although you guys probably love longer videos anyway so here we go another Kenzo I by the, oh, by the way I'm obsessed with Kenzo I love most of their fragrances um, I love the brand I just yeah I just really gravitate towards it it's really cool this is Kenzo pour on eau de parfum as opposed to the eau de toilette which I have owned before which was Oh gee, that's a quite an old fragrance, but still really nice in my opinion. This is the Eau de Parfum, which was released um, about six or seven years ago. So. And this is discontinued now, but it comes in this uh, the kind of like a, it's almost like a katana shaped, uh, handle shaped bottle with a bamboo design there, and a kind of gradiated glass. It's really nice. This is like uh, fruit notes and C notes up top. I don't have like note breakdowns with me. This is also no excuse to do some tinkly glass tapping, let's be honest. And the top has this uh, the plastic use of the sprayer. I'll just hold it up close for you guys. So the sprayer looks like that, you press it like that. I'm not going to waste the spray because this one's quite expensive. And this one is on about, I don't know if you can see the level there in this light, so it's on about, I'm going to say that's on about 65% full. And I have owned this at the time of recording for uh, three years now, almost exactly three years. Uh, but because it's a powerful, strong one, and I only kind of use it, it's a eau de parfum. I kind of like to use it on special occasions or just when I'm feeling like I really want to indulge myself with this one. It's really nice. It is quite strong. So you have to be um, you have to be easy on the trigger. In fact, funny story. I was flying back from France one evening and uh, and I'd sprayed this on myself in the duty free and in the airport lounge where you wait for your flight. Um, I had this on and there was this couple and they came and sat near me on the same, you know, like you have those like rows of chairs, one facing one way and one facing the other. I think they sat on the other side and then they moved, they moved away from me and they were getting on my flight as well. I felt so embarrassed. Uh, I, I really, oh my God, I can't believe it, but I don't care because it was really nice. But I actually went into the toilet and scrubbed it off myself because I knew that they were on my flight. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely one for summer because that, when that happened, it was actually February. So, but this will burn off more easily in the summer. Um, so I've only really used this, um, over the, I'd probably say like probably no more than four times, you know, this would be one that I would use on a weekend. So maybe a couple of weekends I've used this one. Um, when I've been out and about, when 
it's been a long day and I've been feeling like, you know, um, I want to feel like, uh, sort of powerful and, yeah, uh, So that's that one. Kento, um, pour on, bow puff on. Okay, excuse me, sorry, that was loud. All right, next, uh, let's just go with a different brand, okay? This is, this is River Island Man Signature. Um, from the clothing store River Island. So, I love the bottle on this one. It's just really simple, simple and, uh, oh, my shoulders went tense then. This is supposed to be a relaxing video, I need to relax. So this one, wait, let me do some more tapping. This one is my work fragrance because it is, uh, well it was cheap, first time it was 15 pounds. Um, it's fresh, it's uplifting, it's not gonna offend anybody. Uh, I would compare it to uh, Invictus, like the Invictus original Invictus, which I smelled. I actually owned Invictus Aqua, which I liked, but it wasn't very strong. This one lasts a good, uh, you know, few hours, like five, six hours on me. There's still a, it's like a nice dry down. Um, there is a note breakdown. It's basically like, a, yeah, the usual citrus up top. Um, a little bit sweet. Um, Nice citrus, the uplifting, aquatic, a bit of a woody dry down, uh, yeah. Uh, but like I said, it's perfect for going to work. Um, like I, uh, yeah, um, you know, if I have to go into the office, it's not going to offend anybody. By the time I've arrived anyway, it's probably, it's worn off because I have, excuse me, I have to, uh, I get on a, a couple of trains to go to work when I'm not working from home. Uh, and this, yeah, this is just a perfect work fragrance. And as a result, because I wear this pretty much Monday to Friday, I've used quite a lot. Uh, I think I probably started using this, well, last year, um, but alternating with another work fragrance, which was like a Jean Paul Gaultier clone. Um, this was, uh, yeah, I sort of started using this just exclusively for work now, because I don't have any others, which I feel like would be appropriate really or that I would want to waste on work. So just looking at the level of this one, uh, this is getting really low. I'd say this is on about between like 25 and 20% uh, full, as you can see there. Uh, and there goes my clicky arm. Um, I actually injured my shoulder recently. This shoulder, that's a whole other story. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna, this will probably last me another couple of, two, three weeks, I think, probably three weeks, cause, uh, and I'll be sad to see it go. I don't know if I'd buy it again. And because I don't really have any other work fragrances that I wanna waste on work once I've used this up, um, I probably won't wear a fragrance for work, really. I don't think. So that's River Island, so definitely, well, by default, it's my most used, but just because it's for work, really. So I guess there's there's work and there's what I've used, like in my personal life outside of work. So, all right, next, uh, let me just put this to the front so I don't I don't want to knock these over because I'm quite clumsy and I my desk is not very big actually. Excuse me. Right. Okay. Next one. This is Zadig and Voltaire. Uh, this is him. So let's get a look. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, a fingerprint magnet. I don't know why I did that because I'm going to be tapping on this now. So Zadig and Voltaire, this is him, is a very interesting fragrance because I would say that actually it's a winter fragrance because it's like a leather tobacco fragrance. Uh, leather, tobacco, vanilla. Um, and it's much more of an appropriate winter fragrance. But what I found is that this was a perfect cool summer evening fragrance or even cool summer days. We had some cool summer days here um, it, early in summer. So it's been, you know, it's been a bit of a gray, wet summer. So this was perfect for those cool summer days, those dull, rainy summer days, because it's really addictive. At first when I smelled this, 
I wasn't sure about it. Um, but as, as I wore it more and more, it's become more and more addictive and it's very strong. It will last all day. Um, so this is not something I would wear like uh, to the movies or, you know, uh, if I'm being close quarters with, with somebody. Um, like I wouldn't want to choke somebody out, but it, it's just pleasant if you just go easy on the sprays. It's really nice for winter and cold summer days. So this is kind of like a bit of an outlier. I actually, I actually have one that's similar to that, but the, this one I have used quite a lot because we've had some, like I said, those cold uh, summer days, quite a lot of those, unfortunately, uh, this year. And the black bottle makes it really hard to see the levels on this one. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's about there. So, and I, I only actually got this last year. This was a Christmas gift. Um, so I am saying this is on about, ooh, between 70 and 65% full. And it's a 50 mil. And I feel like, because I have quite a, a large fragrance collection, the, the dent I've made in is quite large. I've used this quite a lot because it is very addictive. Uh, yeah, the Zadig and Volt has a very good quality, I recommend. Okay, next. We're going Kenzo again. Uh, so this is Kenzo on night. And let's just tell you the level first, because this is on about maybe just over 30% full. I uh, This was a, a gift from a friend of mine uh, for my birthday once. They got it online for me uh, a few years ago. Uh, and it's discontinued again. This is a, a kind of mango, uh, mango, coconut, tropical fragrance. Um, and I'm actually wearing this right now, today. This is what I decided to wear today. It's been a kind of weird, dark day with the occasional heavy shower. Not cold outside, but windy. And the nights are drawing in. And I just, I was out and about, like, well, I went for a walk in the countryside today. And this is quite strong as well, but it's not offensive. It's just really nice, and it has a kind of really strong woody backbone as well. So, and because it's discontinued again, um, I like to sort of not use too much of this. Um, but because it's heavy, it's kind of it's like a heavier because it has that nighttime vibe. It's heavier than your usual aquatics. So. Uh, I haven't used this much. I, I struggle to find an occasion to use this really. Usually when I'm like meeting a friend uh, and it's a hot day, I like to wear this because if it's hot, they, it will sort of burn off a bit more. Um, again, this lasts all day long, so that's why I love it. And I probably will buy it again if I can find it for a decent price, even though it's discontinued. I don't think it's, it's selling like hotcakes really, you know, this, even if a fragrance is discontinued still find it online uh, most of the time but it's it's very nice um, but I still have uh, about 30% left and I've had this maybe about four years now um, just because even, you know like even though I really love it it's hard to find an occasion to wear it uh, but yeah it's it's really nice yeah okay all right next this is uh, Kisna from the body shop and I love the colour of the bottle here, the beautiful green. This is a green mossy scent uh, with, I think, is grapefruit up top and, uh, yeah, moss and woody notes. It's really simple. It's really cheap. This is from the Body Shop. The Body Shop. The Body Shop. And this is my favourite fragrance. This is my signature fragrance. And it, it doesn't last very long, but it's perfect for going to the movies. Um, just like, yeah, meeting friends is not going to choke anybody out. It's just so uplifting and easy to wear. And that's why it is my favorite signature fragrance. And so, obviously, I have used the heck out of this over summer because, again, this is, like, my favorite fragrance. I wear it, like, uh, when I have, like, a French lesson and I feel like I, I have, like, live online French lessons. I feel like I, I, I wear this when I want to feel, like, my best which is crazy, even though the teacher can't smell me, I just want to feel my best because it's quite nerve-wracking doing French, speaking in French. Um, yeah, when I meet French, going to the movies is perfect because it, it's like, it's not going to choke anybody out. You, you know, it's really intimate. Um, really nice. 
is really uplifting. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely use this a lot over the summer. And I actually already have a backup bottle of this um, ready to go for when this one runs out. But um, I'm saying that one is on about 60% full. So I've been going actually relatively easy on this one compared to other years. I've been sort of trying to favor other summer fragrances just to sort of spread it out and make this last a little bit longer. Uh, even though I have a backup bottle, so um, yeah, but it's so light you can actually go crazy with this one. I normally do. I normally give myself a blast into my like on my head, and my neck, and my arms, and everywhere. So um, yeah, that's my that's my fave. All right, next, next, next. Let's just go with another Kenzo one. So this is Kenzo um, Low Kenzo Intense. You can see the bottle there. Uh, it's similar to the um, to this one, the the low Kenzo, but it's the intense version. Again, this is discontinued. This is my girlfriend's favourite fragrance on me. Uh, it has a slightly Invictus vibe. It's quite sweet. Um, it has like C notes, basil. It has kind of like a an intense backbone. Um, yeah, it's a nice aquatic, um, it's a really nice scent, and I haven't worn this much, again, this, because this is like, again, it's discontinued, it's my girlfriend's favourite, and, uh, because we don't see each other that, that much, because we're long distance, um, I kind of ration this one as well, but I, I do wear this one, I want to sort of have an, upli an uplifting time, it's really hard to see the level on this one, but, I've had this, I've had this, uh, I, I must say I've had this about four or five years, and I have a backup bottle, and this is on about, I'm going to say, 45%, 45 it's 45% full-ish, something like that, maybe a bit less, yeah, maybe between 45 and 40% is full, so it's a fingerprint magnet, but so this didn't get much use, um, but I still love it. Um, it's quite dark as well, so if it's, a, it's good if it's a really, really hot day, because then it will burn off and it's not going to choke anyone. Um, so yeah, that's that's that one. All right, let's just finish up with the Kento fragrances. So uh, this is Kento Power. Oh, that's very that's reflecting quite a lot of my my ring light there, Kenzo Power. You can see the, the logo, it's at the bottom there. Uh, it's this nice silvery flat, like metallic uh, bottle. And this is supposed to be like a floral, kind of like a unisex fragrance. Um, and I've actually worn this uh, maybe a couple of weekends, but this is so uplifting it kind of has like an almost like a fizzy pop almost like a kind of sprite vibe if that if you can believe that it's kind of fizzy uplifting it's floral it lasts a long time though and whenever i've decided to wear this it's given me like i've usually worn it like on a saturday and then i'm like i have to wear this on sunday as well because it's so uplifting and and strong and long lasting it just gave me such a boost and such an uplift um and I guess it made me feel powerful, like a powerful flower. That's the um, the concept behind this. This is supposed to smell like a flower that is kind of like man-made that doesn't exist, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. That's the um, the sprayer there. The light is fading actually. You know the nights are drawing in, so I have my ring light on, and because it's going to be dark soon, I'm trying to get this filmed so. And because this bottle is completely like uh, metallic, I cannot see where I'm at. I can't gauge where, how much I used. Again, I don't use this that much. Um, it's definitely lighter than I remember. I've used it a couple of times. I'm gonna say this is on about, it's probably getting low, it's probably on about 40% now. And I believe this is a 50 mil. It's a 60 mil, so it's a strange kind of, uh, uh, you 
know, usually you get 100 off uh, or uh, 50 mil. This is a 60, just probably because of the bottle design. Beautiful fragrance. Uh, I recommend it. Check it out if you can. Beautiful um, bottle as well. So I used that a couple of weekends and probably had some of the greatest weekends I've ever had wearing it. Um, I might have, I might have uh, watched Barbie wearing this. I actually can't remember. I watched Barbie. Um, I either watched Barbie wearing this or this, um, which is Machino Forever Sailing, uh, which you can see how much I've used. And in this one, I've used probably about 30. There's probably about 35% full. This one is such a blast of like, uh, it's like mint, um, it's like fruit, um, citrusy with mint as well. So it gives it a really sort of uplifting vibe. Um, and uh, I love the top, the machino top like that as well. It's so like aquatic and uh, uplifting. And again, when it's been a really hot summer day or a nice summer day, you can't go wrong with this. It lasts a nice long time. I don't think it's going to offend anybody. It's just really nice and fresh. I'll just show you a close up there. It's really nice. That's the, that's the top. And yeah, I used this probably two or three weekends, I'd say. Um, I've had this, I want to say two years, and you can see like two years, and I've used what, about 65% of this, so that just goes to show you how much I love this. And just to note that I won't be really saying goodbye to these fragrances because, um, you know, even in winter, I like to wear summery fragrances to give myself that sort of citrusy uplift and to remind me of summer, so there's no rules really. But I'll probably be using them maybe less, definitely, but uh, yeah. Uh, that's Machino of Forever Sailing. Alright, next uh, we have two uh, from the same brand. Okay, first one, this is Pepe Jeans, um, London Calling uh, for him, which is in the cocktail shaker bottle. Uh, this might be my most recent fragrance acquisition, actually. Got it for an absolute steal. Yeah, yeah because it's, uh, it's been discontinued. And this is interesting. This is like a sort of gourmand fragrance. So it smells like chutney, uh, plum chutney, uh, and it has a sort of nice sort of sweet uh, gourmand uh, um, vibe. And it comes in this cool cocktail shake. I recently did a review of my Pepe Jeans fragrances because I own three of these. So this one, in terms of usage, it's on about, very hard to see, but it's on about, uh, I want to say like 95, 90% full because it's my most recent acquisition. Got it maybe a couple of months ago. Um, and this has become my post, like a post gym fragrance, but on cold nights. Like I said, again, we had quite a few cold summer nights. And uh, when I want something a bit more intense, I've worn this after I've worked out now and had a shower, because um, it gives you a nice, like, fresh blast, uh, like a gourmandy blast on a cold summer night. Um, but because it's new, I, uh, I haven't uh, used all this. I probably won't buy it again. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, as the nights get colder, I'll definitely be favoring this uh, after I work out uh, in winter. So that's Pepe Jeans, London Calling. Um, for him. I got it for an absolute bargain, really. Uh, so check out my, my, my video about those Pepe Jeans fragrances. And this is the, the last one. Um, this is Pepe Jeans uh, Cocktail Edition uh, for him. Again, it's a beautiful, beautiful color bottle there, green and the blues. It's very, very uh, uplifting. And this one, I actually got, I think, in July, June or July this this year. So I've had this about three months. Again, I got it for a good, good bargain, about twenty pounds. And this is already on, I'd say, about forty-five, forty percent. Can you see that? Because 
because this has become my post gym fragrance like during the hot summer days um, and because it doesn't last a, a, a great deal of time this is perfect just to sort of blast myself with uh, after a workout on, uh, on warmer summer nights so um, and so I've absolutely blazed through this one I've used it quite a lot so So this is definitely up there in terms of usage. Okay, so that is Pepe Jean's cocktail for him. It has like lots of like sharp citrus notes up top and a bit of a woody dry down, but it doesn't really last very long. So that's why I was able to use it. I love this sort of studded bottle design. It's really nice. It's getting dark now, so I need to wind down this video. Okay, so those are my summer fragrances, which are, I'm not gonna say goodbye to really, but certainly sort of, sort of uh, putting to the back burner um, as, as it gets colder. What did I use the most? Well, I'm going to have to pick a few. Um, so the winner is probably, um, yeah, probably, yeah, probably that one because that is my signature one. So Kiss Enough from the Body Shop because it's my favorite and I'll, I'll just reach for it any time. Uh, so that one is probably my most used. Not really a big surprise there. And then it's going to be this one because I've used it after I've worked out. And uh, I've worked out a fair bit uh, over summer, luckily. So I'm um, trying to keep up my exercises. So, um, so I've blasted that quite a lot. Um, my the, the, the River Island one, a bit of a cheat really because I, I do use that one. Um, every day for work. Pretty, I pretty much work Monday to Friday. Um, and after that, I have sort of the weekendy, weekend vibe fragrances. I would say it's the Kenzo, uh, the Kenzo, low Kenzo one, which I've used most. Um, outside of like my signature and my work gym fragrances. So, um, yeah, so these four, these four are kind of like the winners, uh, so to speak. So. All right, guys, um, I'm sorry this video is quite long, but maybe you like that. Um, thank you again for 1K subscribers. That is amazing. And I hope you continue to support my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you would like, that would be great. Uh, like, comment, and I'll see you soon for another... ASMR video.